Star Trek characters, Star Trek character dynamic duos, right? Over the year, of course, I guess maybe the most famous is Kirk and Spock, Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock. And then also from the original series, you have Mr. Spock and Dr. McCoy. Mr. Spock and Bones, Spock and Bones, but they're not, well, I was going to say not exactly friends, frenemies. They clash, right? The couples, the characters on Star Trek that have respect for each other, and they certainly have to serve on the, the same starship or station, but there's a clash. So you have, most famously, Bones and Spock on the old series, original series. Next Generation, Dr. Pulaski, Captain Picard, and of course, Q and Picard, you can't forget them. Of course, Q's not a, you know, a main cast member, so... Pulaski and Picard. In Deep Space Nine, you have Quark and Odo. Pretty, pretty clashing, clashing types, right? And then on Vo- Voyager, you've got Neelix and Tuvok. But for this video, of course, we're going to talk about Captain Janeway and Seven of Nine. So Voyager fans remember when Seven of Nine, Annika, Annika Hansen, her given name, her Earth human name, becoming the drone Seven of Nine. When she came aboard Voyager, that was in Scorpion, the episode Scorpion, with the great species 8472 and the Borg and Voyager collaborated, created an alliance, forged a temporary alliance. And of course, we all know how deceptive and how duplicitous and just outright scumbaggery the Borg can be. But when Janeway encountered Seven and realized that, uh, you know, it was sort of her responsibility now to help Seven rediscover her humanity, you know, to take her from, she used to be just a, you know, a a human girl, a young Earth girl into a Borg drone. And she's, Janeway is, you know, determined to bring her back into humanity to get that transition. And since Voyager liberated Seven of Nine. It was Janeway's responsibility, you could argue. And so this journey um, is just, it's one of the most fascinating, I think, of all of any Star Trek show. Again, in the beginning, when I was talking about Spock and Bones and Dr. Pulaski and Picard, or even Q and Picard, or Neelix and Tuvok, or Odo and Quark, all those relationships, very interesting. They're all very clash-driven, very resistant, like sandpaper in ways, but then there's a respect and friendship. But with with Janeway, with Captain Janeway and Seven, you've got this real journey from trying to reclaim the humanity that was lost and taken by the Borg. And throughout their adventures together, and as Captain Janeway and the, the entire Voyager crew realize that Seven of Nine is you know, resistant in ways to becoming, say, human again, or or acclimating, assimilating, so to speak, back into her humanity from the Borg, from the Borg collective. Because in the Borg, she had not only her, say, family, her collective. Boy, what, what a family, right? Anyone who looks at the Borg collective and then looks back at their own family, wow, we got it good, right? But, I mean, it was, for lack of a better word, a family, a collective unit's and she was seven of nine, just, you know, right in her board given name. She was seventh in a, you know, unit of nine. And so that, that emotional bond that Janeway and Seven forge and develop, people look and say, hey, this is sort of a mother and, you know, daughter dynamic. It's, um, it's clearly close to that. Janeway's very protective. She's, you know, she has this protective, nurturing approach to Seven. And then, of course, Seven is emotionally, developmentally sort of stunted because of the Borg taking her and assimilating her at su- such a young age. So this sort of, you know, mirrors the way a parent might, right, guide a child throughout their adolescence, the teens, the terrible teens, the, you know, the, the growing pain years. Um, I think it's, it's a dynamic, it's subtle. Of course, uh, but it is present there throughout all their interactions, you know, all the seasons of Voyager. And of course, what's wonderful, as fans know, the way Seven grows beyond that or certainly develops and matures to the point of saying, you know, sort of mom, you know, 
I, I've got gotten the learning down, you know. And of course, who did she have before with the Borg, you know, with the collective? She had the Borg Queen. She had that Borg family. And the Borg Queen was like the mom. The Borg Queen was the mother. Now it's Janeway. So it's a great uh, journey. And then, of course, on Picard, Seven's, uh, you know, continued maturation and development on Picard. So there's a lot of duos, couples, clashing couples in Star Trek. Captain Janeway in Seven of Nine is truly one of the most unique and interesting. Hope you subscribe. Hope you enjoy. See you soon.